What is up you guys, it is Brad here. It is Sunday, June 11th, and I hope everybody knows what that means, but just in case you don't, that means I am leaving for Brick World Chicago in just two days. This is day zero zero of Brick World Chicago. This is gonna be the vlog of me getting ready for the convention, and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me for the ride. I am not ready to leave for Brick World Chicago yet. I haven't started packing. I don't know what camera equipment or anything I'm bringing. Luckily, I'm not bringing any mocks, so that is a big stress taken off, but there's still a lot to do to get ready. And the first thing that I'm trying to finish up today is my custom sig fig packaging, so I have some sig figs to trade while I'm at the convention. So I've now basically spent a majority of the day trying to get the sig fig parts and everything done because I wanted to make that custom sig fig packaging. So this is the design I came up with. I obviously have all of my sig figs here, and then I'm going to be putting them in these plastic bags, heat sealing them off, and getting ready to give these to people at the LEGO convention. So I did kind of wait and do this the last minute, you know, the weekend before, but it's okay because I will get it done. All right, you guys, the first one is complete. You guys can see I put the sig fig in there. I hot glued it in with this great backing card. Even put a business card back here as well. I'm really excited for how that looks. It's all nicely heat sealed into this plastic bag. And I'll be making 41 of these to give out, obviously, at Burke World Chicago. So very, very excited. And now I just have to finish the rest of them because each one takes a, little, a couple minutes to do. So it's going to take me a little while. All right, I'm beginning all the assembling of everything here. It's going really well, uh, and I'm excited to get these done and get these off to Brick World. So I've got all the plates glued to the back of the name cards, which look really cool, and I'm working on putting the figures on right now. It, each one takes a little bit because it is such custom size, but I am getting them in there, and they are looking really good, and then adding the business card, and then I will go back later on and uh, heat seal and sever everything. Doing the minifigures is obviously a huge priority because I do need to get those done before I leave because I'm not going to have a heat sealer and stuff like that on the road, but there is also a bunch of other things that I really do need to do. Uh, so I'm going to stop doing that for now and get to work on the rest of the things and the rest of the prep for Brick World Chicago. It feels good having three videos already filmed, edited, and uploaded way ahead of the deadline. I'm going to mark the other, the third one here as uploaded as well in my tracker. All that's left to do video-wise is film, edit, and upload the video that you're watching because it's going to go live on Thursday. And then, of course, edit the LEGO Collection video because that's one's going to go live on Friday. And then after I've done all that, all the videos are set for Brick World. And once I get finished that, I'll finally feel like it's happening and I can start actually packing for the convention. All right, so now with next week's video is pretty much under control, I need to actually start thinking about what I need to pack and what I need to bring to Brickworld. So in terms of what I wear, like obviously my pants and stuff like that are just gonna come from the closet in my bedroom, but what I'm actually gonna wear like a shirt wise are probably gonna come from some of these shirts here. So these are all like Lego shirts that I have and you know have worn over the years at conventions. And I also have three more in here that I've been wearing for videos recently, as well as my Brick Lover 18 hoodie. Um, so this one is a cool one because it says YouTube on it and then Brick Lover 18 on the back. So I'll definitely bring this one. I probably won't bring any other convention shirts. So like the, that one is a Philly Brickfest one that's just controversial. So won't be bringing that one, but I will be bringing these. And I've worn these for videos recently where I have to wash them now before I obviously go to the convention. So I will have to do that tonight. Uh, but to get those washed is really important. And then like clothes wise, that's probably what I'm least stressed about. I travel all the time. So I know roughly what I need clothes wise and like toiletries and stuff like that. That's not an issue. And then of course the next thing is going to be deciding what kind of equipment I need to bring. So obviously I'm going to bring my vlog setup here, which is an iPhone, a light and like a little gorilla pod. But in terms of other equipment, I'm not entirely sure what I should bring. I know I definitely don't need the teleprompter, so I don't have to worry about that one. I will probably bring my DSLR just so I have it. This is a really good one. Uh, it's a great camera and I'll need the microphone here. I'll probably be bringing these microphones as well just because they are handy to have. In terms of kind of some of my other equipment, I will need all those chargers um, and I'll need a couple of the chargers for like the lights and headphones and things like that as well. I'm not going to bring that mini camera because it's unnecessary. Uh, I don't think I'll bring the secondary mic pack as well. This mic set does come with two mic packs, so I might as well bring it in case I interview someone or who, who really knows. It's better to be over prepared than under prepared. And then in terms of other equipment I need, obviously I'll bring this phone. Um, I'll be bringing a bunch of memory cards as well. Uh, I don't need that drawer but I'll be bringing extra memory cards as well, batteries, all of these battery chargers. I'll probably bring the GoPro as well, just because I feel like that would be handy. And then I'll bring a few extra uh, battery dongles and things like that. Um, the GoPro accessories and all of their batteries there. And I think that's really all I need. I will be bringing this little tripod, which is 
the, the phone tripod, it's a really great one. Who knows what I'll use it for or if I will even use it, but I will definitely be bringing it. And then hard to get to right now, and I'm not gonna try with all the camera equipment, but I will get to bring that camera bag as well as the, I have a dongle over there, not a dongle, but like a, a stabilizer. So I'll bring that for the DSLR in case I need it. And I might even bring the monopod as well. I'm not entirely sure. You know, I don't wanna go too gear heavy because I think that would be kind of silly, but I do wanna bring enough that I have everything I need in case I wanna do anything. I'll also obviously bringing all my sig fig stuff, which is really good. So I'll have that. And then I'm thinking I might throw in a few of these sets as well. These are ones in my Brickwing store right now. And I'm thinking I'll throw them in in case there's anything, anybody doing any trades or anything like that at the convention and they want to do it and I want to get involved with that. So I might throw in a, uh, a th throw in a few of these, but I'm not entirely sure. I also really need to go to the bank and get some American money. I I have a credit card, so I'm not too worried for things that like food and like at the vendors and stuff like that, that most of them will probably accept credit card. Mine's an American Express, so I know it works in America. But if like yard sale vendors and things like that, they probably won't take credit card. I will need to pay cash for them. I probably could pay PayPal and that's a universal thing, but anything like Cash App, Zello, or like any of the other things that Americans use to send money to each other, I don't have access to that as a non-American citizen. So I will have to bring some cash there and I don't know how much I'll get. Maybe be like two or three hundred bucks just i want to make sure i have enough if i want to do any lego buying because over the years the my favorite things i've ever purchased have been from the yard sales at these lego conventions also this is that mobile tripod here i cannot believe how small that it really folds up like this is such a perfect travel size tripod all right so i have now officially finished assembling all of the lego minifigures all my sig figs they're in here in the bins ready to go and i'm also watching a couple of brickheads tonight they are doing a brick world hype stream which is really exciting it's been a lot of fun so far already you guys it is monday that means i am leaving for brick world tomorrow that means today is the last possible day i can do any of my packing and quite frankly i haven't really started yet i've been doing a lot of prep but no packing so that's what i've got to do tonight before i go to sleep I can't believe Brickworld is one day away. It, this is crazy. I'm so, so excited. All right, so I've been kind of gearing up my camera equipment here as well, which is really exciting, getting it all ready to go. Obviously, all the sig figs and stuff like that I packed last night, so we're good to go there. I just have to restock on business cards. Also, doing all the content on my YouTube channel here has been good. I've like now finished all the videos for the week, with the exception of the vlog that you guys, you're going to be watching this on Thursday, but I just haven't obviously finished filming or editing it yet but other than that like even friday's video is done so i just got to upload it and it'll be good to go so now it's just like going around the lego room and trying to remember all the nitty gritty things that i need to you know bring to brick world i have a packing list here so that is good and i will use that to go around the lego room and get things ready so i think this is most of the camera equipment that i need i've got my mics all there and all the cords needed to operate them over here i've got like uh this is a mic that a portable mic this is not as good quality as the sure one i use but it would be perfect for vlogs and stuff like that the rode microphone as well um the battery this is the charger for the light that's on the back of this vlog camera and the gopro as well and then on the inside here oh i'm gonna put my camera my big camera is still over there uh, i'm waiting for the chargers to like charge those batteries up and then i can put that there as well just finished going through all the memory cards and i've also got the gopro battery charging as well um so that is good i don't think i need these headphones or anything like that that would be a bit excessive i do need that hard drive but i'm not finished editing the videos and stuff like that and i've got my slider and my gimbal down there um and then i've got the the phone tripod which i don't even know if i really need but i'm gonna bring it anyway i've got that right there and then this bag also has my laptop and everything or it will once i'm finished with it so that's that's good i'm like still continuing to pack for brick world and i've been doing it all night but honestly you guys i just feel like i'm forgetting something i i don't know i always do this when i go on vacation i just can't seem to shake the fact that i am forgetting something and who knows like i leave tomorrow so hopefully i'm i'm not but I'll have to, I'm going to edit the vlog now and see if there's anything I can think of. So I watched some of those clips back and I realized it, I'm bringing a ridiculous amount of stuff. I do have to downsize. So I am going to bring the DSLR still and I am going to bring the microphones and the batteries and that's a necessity. In terms of this stuff, I, I think I do need both of these as well. Like this is more just so if I need it in the hotel room. So I can put that in my suitcase just so I don't have to carry it with me at the convention center and stuff like that. But I'm, I will bring all those batteries and things. I'm not going to bring the GoPro because I don't know what I'd use it for. I think that's just like a waste right now. I'm also putting back the monopod just because, again, I don't really need it. And I even got rid of the microphone case and everything like that. Looking around my leg room, I don't really think there's much else that I need to bring. Like I'm not planning to do any trades or anything like that. So I'm good on that front um yeah i feel like i feel like i have everything i am bringing obviously like five lego t-shirts shorts pants 
toiletries, all the stuff that I need. I got my business cards. I've got my sig figs. I hate going on these like vacations and stuff because I always feel like I'm forgetting something. And like, I, it just gives me a reason to be stressed and anxious. But I feel like I got everything. Cameras, batteries, chargers, mic packs, tripod here. Like I'll bring this whole gear with me. Like, I, I must be good. I, I've got to be good at this point. But uh, luckily, I don't leave until a little bit later tomorrow in the afternoon, like after work. So if I do think of anything between now and then, I still do have time to put it in my bag. But but I think I must I must have everything. I don't know, though. I thought the stress would be a lot less than if I was bringing mocks. But I think it's more because I feel like I have too little of stuff. Like, I do have my camera bag right here with everything in it. And I will take that and I'll put it in my suitcase. I do have this bag here as well. This one's already at the front door. This has got, like, my sweater, my gimbal, my sig fig, and, like, my Lego shoes in there as well. Uh, just because I don't need this until, like, the actual day of the convention. And then even in my bedroom here, I do have an actual suitcase, which you guys can see. I've got, like, Lego shirts and even more chargers and the rest of my clothes and stuff like that in it and I've even also got this bag this is like my bag of other extra clothes like this is because I'm staying in a different hotel the first night because I'm driving the full nine hours so like even got my Polaroid camera clothes for when I'm in Chicago things like that I've got my clothes even laid out for the ones I'm gonna wear tomorrow in the car like I feel like I have everything but for some reason I still feel like I'm forgetting something I have no idea it, it's just such a weird feeling I don't like it like as I said I do feel like I'm forgetting something but I also at the same time I'm gonna gather everything together pack all the bags tonight get them by the front door and then take some time tomorrow just just to make sure damn I wish this vlog was uploading before I left because then you guys could remind me in the comments if I'm forgetting something but I think I need to stop worrying and I just need to get everything else done. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in to day zero zero of this Brickworld Chicago vlog. Stay tuned because tomorrow I am going to be driving to Brickworld. That footage is going to be available exclusively on my vlog channel. It will not be here on my main channel, so you guys will have to go and check that out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys at Brickworld Chicago 2023.